watching Yara and Jovi together. I could see that um, look in their eye. They're really in love. I hate you. I hate you. This right here is the look of love. This is definitely not the look of a person who is currently dead on the inside. Right now, Jovi's life is flashing before his eyes, and I'm not sure he's able to give up the Jovi ways. On the one hand, he has his fiance Yara, but on the other hand, there's strippers partying and crawfish boils. So how did Jovi get to this point? Well, it's a very long and complicated story that, as usual, begins with a man standing in an airport with flowers, waiting to meet the person that he's gonna argue with for the next six months. I just wanna start everything off good. I want her on day number one, I want her to get a good feel for the city. I feel like I'm taking a huge risk, you know, um, if Yara and I don't work out, I'll be devastated. Every single statement he just made had to do with himself. I feel like a lot of the Americans on this show are always talking about how big of a risk they're taking when they're not the ones leaving their country. <laughs> Finally. Jovi, can you just stop away? <laughs> Let's stop somewhere. It doesn't really seem that Jovi has ever fully grasped how escalators work. So of course, as usual, this is the happiest moment for them as a couple, as far as we can tell from the show. From this point on, Jovi's real smile slowly evolves into his dead smile. Ah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm happy she's finally arrived. It's been a long time waiting, so I'm happy she's here. Ah. Yara, what do you love most about Jovi? They ask what she loves about Jovi, and she reacts as if they just brought up a dead relative. I don't know what exactly I love about Jovi. I mean, he have a cool body. Uh, not now, before. <laughs> wow, it sounds like they're the perfect match. I can feel the chemistry. What do you love most about Jovi? I don't know. He he used to have a good body. That's That was cool. Of course I love Jovi. I mean, I feel like I love Jovi. Um... I mean, I think I love Jovi. He, he seems like a cool guy. I might be able to have kids with him or something. I don't know. I mean, he used to have a good body, so that's something. It's not his crazy love I will jump from the mountains, but... Um... Yeah, none of this really sounds particularly good for Jovi. This isn't really what I would want to hear after having someone fly across the world to live with me. Perhaps as time goes on, she will come to appreciate and love the Jovi ways. Ready to see New Orleans? When? Tonight? No. Tonight? Yeah. No. Yes. Can't wait to get out of here, and then we'll go home, get changed up, and then we'll take her out to Bourbon Street and let her see the real New Orleans. She just got off a 30-hour plane ride, and Jovi doesn't even seem to consider that at all. Pretty sure the last thing you'd want to do after that is get dressed up and go out. Also, if you listen to the way he says it, at no point does he ask her if she wants to go out. He's pretty much just like, yeah, we're going to get dressed up and we're going out tonight. You're, you're going to see the city. And then we'll go home, get changed up, and then we'll take her out to Bourbon Street and let her see the real New Orleans. Everything which I want to see tonight is just shower and bed, honestly. Now this is perfectly understandable, but Jovi is actually kind of annoyed by this. I don't know why, but he's in a rush to go out and have her see everything on the first day. I don't have the clip, but he says that he's disappointed that she doesn't want to go out after a 30 hour plane ride when you have the rest of time. So after Yara has been there a little while, they decide to go shopping at the furniture store and then all hell breaks loose when she wants to buy a rug that Jovi doesn't like. I don't know, how does call this in English again? I rug. Rug. Learn your English. Oh my goodness. Jovi, <laughs> no, you can't be mean like that. I can be one. No, this is no, what I gotta no, you deal can't. with. You, you don't know how to say rug in English, and you just started learning English as an adult. What are you? What are you stupid? You know, Jovi, you could just learn her language as well. But of course, none of the Americans ever want to learn another language. It's always the person from the other country that's expected to speak English. I don't like all the sparkly in the rug. Why? We don't like. We like it. I don't it. like it. Just white color. Just okay, not... I don't like it. I don't want the sparkly rug in my apartment. I'm not putting that in my apartment. You have to make her happy. I'm sorry. Dude, she just moved across the world to live with you. She doesn't know anyone here. She doesn't have a job here. She's pretty much just starting fresh and you can't even compromise on a fucking rug. Look, I love her and I want to make her happy and everything, but there is no way in hell I'm putting that rug in my house. That's a deal breaker. It, it's either the rug or it's me. To be fair, the reason he's angry is because she's been complaining that the apartment is too small, but that doesn't really excuse the way he's acting like a child. This rug, I'm not putting it in my apartment. You were right Yeah. I know, it's choose whatever you want. Wow, Jovi, way to make someone feel welcome. Still referring to the apartment you guys live together in as your own apartment and not even willing to just buy a rug that your girlfriend likes. How hard is that? Seriously, it's not like it's a car. But maybe, maybe I got this all wrong and Jovi just has some really weird thing about rugs and this is just like the only instance that he's like this. Maybe, maybe that's what's going on. You have to go apologize. Why? Because. Wait till you hear Jovi's amazing heartfelt apology. What? 
You mad now? Oh, what? Y you mad now? Because I was acting like an asshole? Get over it. It's not my fault you have a shitty taste in rugs. I didn't I didn't force you to have a terrible taste in Faye's rugs. You're just bitching me all the time. One thing you're bitching me, another thing, the, the rug is so bad or what looking. I don't like the rug. You know, Jovi, sometimes you do things for other people, not because you want to, but because you care about that person. This is something that Jovi hasn't quite figured out yet. So at this part, Yara meets up with one of Jovi's friends, who then reveals to her all of the Jovi ways. So, um, do you think Jovi is ready to, like, settle down and whatnot? Because I know, like, the Jovi before Yara, and he was, you know, always out, having a good time, till 3 a.m., drunk, and then, like, not know where he was at or what happened the night before. I like how she just keeps piling on. And apparently, Jovi has not revealed any of this to Yara. How do you feel about strip clubs? It's just, like, Jovi used to be a regular at one of the ones down here. Knew all the strippers, and he, like, sleep with them. Wow, Jovi, sounds like your friend really has your back. She's painting a wonderful picture of you to your soon-to-be wife. I hear some things about Weemax. Yeah. She, like, peed in the bed one time. <laughs> Not the bed you're sleeping in, but, like, she got so drunk, she, like, pissed herself in the middle of the night. She legit peed on herself. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Jovi's friend. Did you know that his ex-girlfriend pissed in the bed? Also, he used to get drunk and hook up with strippers all the time. Anyway, it's nice getting our nails done. See you later. Jovi's friend just spent like 20 minutes crapping all over him. And this is definitely the point where Yara starts to think of Jovi as just this party animal. Because I don't need party animal guy. So what now? Who will go to strip club? Why do I need that? No, I wouldn't want that. So at this point, the Jovi ways are right out in the open, and it starts to become a problem. Especially once Yara finds out that she's pregnant. For whatever reason, she decides to tell Jovi about this at a really awkward time, and Jovi being Jovi makes it worse. Okay, so you want to get some henna? Yeah. I only freehand. That's how I rock and roll. I want to I wanna, I wanna tell you something. What, you want to buy something? Tell me. This dude could not seem any less friendly. I have no idea why she's telling him this in front of someone else, knowing Jovi. It's definitely about to get very awkward. What? Pregnant? What? Oh. Pregnant? What? Pregnant? Hey, not. So Jovi just thinks she's lying and refuses to believe it. But someday he's gonna have to face the fact that he can't run around at the strip clubs when he has a little Jovi at home to take care of. I don't believe you. If you would be pregnant, you'd already told me. I'm telling you now. You would have told me before I got home from work. Dude, real, I'm serious. No, you're not. I don't believe you. Well, this is getting absolutely nowhere, and now this lady has to sit and listen to a very private conversation. I was thinking he would be happy, and I don't know, just like crazy happiness or something but he act like he doesn't believe me really you thought jovi was gonna be happy and excited to find out that he's having a kid the happiest he is on this entire show is when he's at the strip club so next it is time for jovi and yara's engagement party they pretty much argue the entire way over because jovi was trying to say he only had six beers and yara's like that that's a lot six beers only six beers so then everyone gathers around to watch a drunken jovi touch yara's ass as if it's some sort of romantic moment jovi jovi no like that don't touch my ass. Jovi, pay attention to bitch. I can't believe our little Jovi has grown up and found love. It's so romantic. I'm really happy for them. They're good. I was worried, but I think they're going to be good. A few moments later. I'm going to kick your ass. Of course, her hormones are out of whack. You know, she's crazy as She's crazy as on a normal basis. It's not just because of her hormones. Jovi can barely put together the pieces of what's wrong through his drunken, glassy-eyed gaze. Maybe she could have handled it better by not insulting Jovi, but the problem is clearly his drinking, not her hormones. But, you know, if you'd really like to see her mad, then just keep hammering home that point that it's all because of hormones and it has nothing to do with your actions or your behavior. Jovi! Jovi! Ah, shit, she's right behind me, isn't she? If I just keep my head forward, I'm not even here. Not even here. Jovi! Oh, he absolutely heard her. He was just hoping she'd go away so he can drink his beers in peace. They're at their own engagement party together, but Jovi just wants to run off on his own and drink with his friends, and Yara just has to kind of wander around and talk to people that she doesn't know. Like, you should hear me, or sometimes you should please come to me, or you just forget about me, and you hang out on the bar. I'm not forgetting about you. 
I'm not forgetting about you, he says as he peers into the distance looking for any possible way to escape this situation. Where's the party going? Are you having fun or not? Did you have fun, Jovi? I had fun. Oh, Joey have fun, because for this is a party for Joey to meet them friends and drink with them together. Right now, Jovi's thinking, I wonder if it's too late to just ditch her and go hit the strip clubs. Even your friends comes to me and say, this is party for who? For you and Jovi or just for Jovi's drinking? This is what's about you, everything, or about us? Over the least Jovi could do is pretend that he cares about this, but I feel like he's trying to gym from the office his way out of this. Just looking into the camera like, can you believe how ridiculous and pregnant and, and hormone filled she is? This is nuts. I'm gonna go drink six more beers. Hey, the girl's standing near to me, and the first time I'm that mad on you, like today. Welcome to pregnancy, guys. Shut up. Welcome to pregnancy. Am I right, guys? Am I? Right? Where are where are all my fellas out there? No, I don't care. Whatever. What do you know? What a surprise. Jovi does not care. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds. So a few weeks go by and Jovi and Yara have stopped fighting so much, although now it is time for Jovi's bachelor party. They have a flight to Vegas in the morning, so she asks that Jovi doesn't stay out too late and doesn't drink that much, so that means that Jovi goes to a strip club, stays out really late, and drinks a lot. I promised Yara that I would be good, that I would go home early. Who goes home at 11 o'clock? What fun is that for a bachelor party? Come on. I think it's okay if I'm a few minutes late. Now Jovi pretty much ignores everything that she asks him to do, and as you can see, this is when Jovi is in his element. This is happy Jovi right here. You won't see any dead Jovi smiles here. It's all real in the strip club. I want to make sure he has a great time tonight. And Yara just has to accept it. Here's Jovi with his fiance, and here's Jovi at the strip club. Why would a person like this get married? I have no idea. So the very last thing we see is Jovi leave for a private dance, which, you know, I'm, I'm sure Yara will have no issue with that whatsoever. Also, I just find it funny when people do stuff that they want to hide from their partner on reality TV shows on camera and act like that's going to be possible. At some point, this is going to air and they're going to see it. But anyway, that's the end of the video. You're now all caught up on the bundle of joy that is Jovi. Before you go though, I just want to make a quick announcement. I figured if you made it to this point, you must really enjoy my videos and I really appreciate that. A lot of people have asked about Discord and uh, I've taken way too long to get to that, but I promise it is coming soon. So keep an eye out for that as well as Patreon very soon if that's something something you're interested in. I'll probably try to make that official by the next video, but I just want to let everyone know that yes, that is happening. But you know, not everyone will make it to this point in the video, but those who did, you guys are the real ones. I really appreciate that. But anyway, I don't want you to have to stare at Jovi's face for too much longer, so I'll let you go. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. She like peed in the bed one time. <laughs> not the bed you're sleeping in, but like she got so drunk, she like pissed herself in the middle of